Hi, everybody. It's Jessica Stone at Stansbury Research, and I'm joined now by Whitney Tilson. Of course, you know him as the founder and CEO of Empire Financial Research. And Whitney, you spent some time over the weekend watching the Berkshire Hathaway meeting. Uh, what do you characterize or how do you characterize Warren Buffett's outlook on the markets? You know, it's probably the most cautious I have ever seen him during a time of uh, financial stress when stocks have sold off. Normally, uh, for example, the closest analogy, the most recent analogy would be during the global financial crisis, where he was incredibly bullish, published a New York Times op-ed, was put $50 billion to work. And here he's doing pretty much absolutely nothing. In fact, has been a slight net seller. So he hasn't blown out his entire equity portfolio. He's not a super bear, but he's nowhere near as bullish as I thought he might be. You know, you mentioned what happened about 10 years ago. He effectively bailed out companies like Goldman Sachs, and now we barely see him putting any money to work. What's your take on what, you know, retail and institutional investors should take away from that? Well, look, I think in the short to medium term, it's an element of keep some dry powder. Um, you know, if Warren Buffett's being a little cautious and keeping some dry powder, you know, he's got a market cap approaching $500 billion, and he's sitting on about a quarter of it in cash. Well, you know, that's, uh, I'm even a little bit higher in cash in my personal portfolio. Uh, I banked some profits uh, after I put a lot of money to work in March. Um, I think long term, if any money you have in a retirement account that you're not going to need to touch for five years, let's say, or longer, just leave it where it is. Like, don't panic, don't sell, whatever. If you have a little bit more of a trading account, um, I think we're going through very unprecedented times. It's got Warren Buffett nervous. Um, and frankly, I don't know what to expect either. Uh, I'm not claiming, uh, I, you know, back on the, in the third week of March, when stocks were down more than 30% from their peak, I turned super bullish. Mm -hmm. And I was right. Uh, we, uh, my investors, my readers, my viewers, and I all made a lot of money. Uh, but now the stock market's only down a little more than 10% on the year. Um, and we're in unprecedented economic times. And we haven't yet beaten the coronavirus. We made a lot of progress. I think we've, we've flattened the curve, but the curve has not yet turned completely downward uh, where we can say definitively we've beaten the virus. So for all of those reasons, in the short to medium term, I'm a little cautious, sort of like Buffett is. In terms of uh, one of his major concerns, he keeps coming back to the banks, and obviously that's a concern because of his own investments. But um, with everything the Fed is also doing to sort of shore up the banks and lending, I, I guess I wonder what your take is on that, because it seems to me he should be a little more encouraged. Yeah, um, I, I'm frankly bullish on the banks, um, and Buffett has not sold any of the banks. He blew out of all his airlines, but he owns much larger stakes in, play, in uh, companies like Wells Fargo, American Express, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs. Uh, so those are all positions he's holding. I was a little surprised, given a lot of them were down more than 40%, that he didn't buy uh, some of the banks. Uh, but he's certainly not selling them, and I think they're a nice way to play the economic rebound long term, and I own them in my personal account. In terms of what we are seeing with the Fed, I'm wondering what you what your thoughts are on the long term consequences of all this intervention. Do you have yeah. some of the concerns that some of your your colleagues do about a, sort of a shift to the left economically yeah. in this country? Yeah, um, I definitely share uh, the concerns that Buffett and many others have expressed. We are in absolutely uncharted waters uh, to some extent economically, but absolutely uh, on a fiscal and monetary, particularly monetary basis. The Fed has never done anything like this. Uh, you can look around the world and you could argue that, for example, Japan has been doing something similar for 20 years and we are the world's reserve currency. Uh, so I'm not predicting any immediate consequences. Look at the debt markets and look at the rate at which the US government is able to issue debt right now tells you that we still probably have a lot more borrowing capacity out there before things get ugly. But there's, a, there's an increasingly wide range of potential outcomes here. So again, that's why you know I'm keeping some dry powder. Whitney Tilson, thanks so much for your take on Berkshire Hathaway's meeting over the weekend and much, much more. And if you would like to see more content just like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching. That's all for now.